Goldcrest Valley greetings to episode number 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. The time has finally come. Potato harvest at last. So, here's how this is going to work. This episode is going to be about leasing. I haven't leased before. Um, renting, if you live in the UK. Um, or probably leasing as well in the UK, to be fair. But we, yeah. Um, I'm going to go with the Tektron for. 15. it's expensive to buy don't have the money to lease it's not cheap but i'm not quite sure how often i'm going to do potatoes to be fair now as far as i understand it base cost 21,450 per operating hour is 21,450 and per day is 4,290 so the initial cost i assume as soon as i lease this will be 47,190 I'm not going to use it for more than an hour. So I won't get any more costs on top. So I'm assuming that's a standard cost because you're going to have to use it at some point. You've got to pay that initially. If you use it every hour, you use it within that day, you pay extra. Or that might just be for the first 24 hours. I'm not 100% certain, but that's what I'm going to do. So lease. Do you want to lease it? yes okay that's that done and here it is it's a big brute um, and relatively slow as I recall from SF F FS15 so having problems moving your heavy machinery look no further the low loader the gold hoffer hoffer however you pronounce it um, what I'm going to do is actually jump in this very quickly. And this is probably the easiest way. If I turn it on. It's probably going to have to be the full stretch, I would imagine, anyway. Assuming it even goes on. I hope it does. I thought it was going to be a long old trek. Um, if I put that, uh, I think, there. Does it go the other way? Oh, I don't know. Right. Let's turn it off. I've got it next to it, anyway. If I jump into this and turn it on. And that goes backwards. There you go. It would do, wouldn't it? Um, God, I hope that's going to fit. Because that doesn't go any bigger. Hmm. Detach that. Pull that forward. Turn it off and jump out. Ah. Uh, yeah, God, I hope this does fit. <laughs> That should do. So, and again, assuming of course, this drives up onto it. Oh, would help if I've actually lined myself up there, wouldn't it? Tell you what. Doesn't get much closer than that. Okay. Let's jump out. Now I'm assuming you don't ratchet strap it or anything. There's no it's not coming up with any symbols to strap it down. Okay. There we go. Whoa. This is a big old unit. Right, let's get this thing over there. Beacons on. Absolutely. think with this one
jump out of that. Okay, let the fun begin. Let's ride this off first. Let's unfold it. Heads down. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure... Oh, in. Oh. Right, I'm so... There used to be an action for the pipe. Well, that might have been on the beet harvester. I'm sure you could adjust the pipe on this. Maybe not. Okay. Right. Let's begin. Line this up in the right place. See what kind of yield we get off this potato field. Lower the harvester. Turn on the harvester. We go with the belts. Everything's moving. And there we go. First lot of potatoes going through. So looking so far, this is going to be an incredibly high yield. Good grief, what am I going to do with those potatoes? Um, uh -huh. So the head is topping. Next section is pulling them out of the ground. Up inside there, up through the conveyor belt. Round out the back here into the holding tank. Oh, that's missing a whole strip. That's annoying. Can't afford to miss anything. There we go. That's worked out at just over 10,000 for a strip. It holds 20,000 tank capacity, so in two strips that will fill that tank. Fill that tank. Look at the width of this field. That's going to be a lot of potatoes. A lot. Yeah, if you thought I was going to actually work the mass out, yeah, you're wrong. <laughs> I might have done. Because there's also the possibility now that this actually is going to be used for more than an hour. That's quite worrying. Hmm. I need to catch it on this side, otherwise I'll be driving over the crops. So... Turn this round. Hopefully this will be the right height. Oh, tell me this isn't too high. You won't unload. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How if I get next to it? Oh, dear me. That was a worry. Got to be very precise with this. Hmm. 
think I might have knocked that off the course a little bit when I nudged it the first time. Wow, okay. It's blocked by me, I take it. Yes. I've done the second unload off of the uh, the harvester, the Grim Tektron. And these potatoes are destined for the pigs. So I'm going to take them up and they're going to be unloaded into one of the storage sheds. This is heavy. This tractor's got 313 horsepower or something. Good grief, this is heavy. Now my worry as well is remembering what I put in each of these sheds. <laughs> I'll have to check them. I know one's soybean, one of them's wheat. I think it's soybean on the left, wheat on the right. And over on this one here I've got corn in the far one. This one's going to be for potatoes. And my worry then is with the straw for the bedding, how I'm going to get it onto the it won't accept it from a bucket so we'll see right so let's get this in here this amount of potatoes is gonna it's gonna last a while so unload okay that was interesting right so it was 37,000 litres I've gone in there that was my own fault for driving up onto the pile. Shouldn't have done that. But anyway, plenty of potatoes in there. That should keep them going for a while. I mean, to be fair, I could have probably put each pile next to each other in one, two in each side. Oh, it doesn't matter. Got the sheds now. They're here. I can put a load more in. I've got corn on the go. Wheat, I've got plenty there. And I think I've still got about 16,000 litres of wheat in storage. Um... That pretty much gives me everything I need to keep the pigs going now. Potatoes is what I've been waiting for. So that's everything I need for them to be 100% productive, in theory. So let's get back to the field, because it's going to need to unload on its way back up again. I took over for a little bit, only because the worker, when it turns round, is only picking up three rows rather than four and it seemed a little bit counterproductive it wasn't picking up enough I didn't think well it's my own personal opinion but I think we're going to end up with about 60,000 litres off this uh, litres where am I from litres off this field which is pretty good just trying to get it done inside the hour so I can get it back and not get charged anymore assuming you do I don't know where that that day rate, whether that's just a payment and you, you, you know, that just covers you for the first day, then anything over that you pay per hour, I don't know. I really don't know. See what I mean though, it's only doing three rows. If you look at the front, well, you know, technically four. If you come across a little bit, you can take more in one go. That's just me being pernickety. Hopefully now I'll pick up this extra row here. There we go. And we are nearly full, that's almost perfectly in line. Oh, not quite. It was so close, but just not quite there. Let's get zoomed in a little bit here on the edge of this. I'll try and get this without clouting it. It shouldn't be this complicated to unload, surely. No, that's going through the edge. Oh, come on. That looks rubbish. That's a bit better. Still not brilliant. Twenty thousand litres though. Do I put this in the same position or not? Oh, it's a big decision. I'm going to come down the field a bit further this time. 
just based on what he's got left. And I'm mumbling to myself, I know. With 60,000 litres of potatoes, potatoes, good grief, uh, potatoes, <laughs> what was that? Um, I'm probably not going to need to do potatoes for a while, unless I'm going to sell them. I mean, at the end of the day, I've got them for the pigs, which is what I wanted them for. Um, so a chance of doing them again might be remote. You never know. This next very heavy load is going to go down and put into storage um, in the silo. I don't need any more, I don't think. 37,000 litres at the pig farm is probably enough to be getting on with, I think. Coming on well. Oh, so I'll do some of those silage bales actually. They were the bales, hay bales I had over in the corner of that little patch there. I uh, wrapped them. Uh, that's the wrong side, isn't it? Do it every single time. Um, yes, I wrapped them. I'm going to go on to that uh, later, maybe in this episode. Ah, potatoes is not accepted here. Where do you put your potatoes? Just leave them... Oh. Just leave them in a field. Oh, crikey. Okay, I might as well just store them up there then. That, that. Oh, that's going to be a pain. Um, take them back up to the pigs, put them up there. That I th thought that was it. Don't know where he's going now. Ah. Yes, he's blocked by an object, it's blocked by me. Where's he going? Is there more? Apparently, there's more. Guy takes up a lot of room, doesn't he?
Okay, that's field nine cleared of potatoes. Brilliant, let's lock this away, shall we? Fold harvester. And get this onto the trailer. As straight as I possibly can. And then we can get this back, hopefully, inside the hour. Hopefully inside the hour, we'll see. Is that in the centre? That's pretty good. Let's go and get in the barrel core. Oh, there we go. Comes up in the screen. I keep forgetting that. Beacon on. Beacon on. There we go. Is that not hooking up? There we go, attach. I'm concerned that's got a bit of a wobble on, but we'll see. And let's get this back. Hopefully inside the hour. I don't know if I just if I have to take it back or whether you can do it on the computer. No idea. Uh, on the computer, like online return. <laughs> they come and collect it. I don't know, but I'll take it back anyway. I'm not sure whether the lease runs out and they charge you again if you haven't taken it back or but we'll see that's, we're learning as we go that's the plan it's kind of a tutorial this is what I've done this is how I'm learning to do it as I go along quite a few fields to harvest a few missions to crack on with once I've done this but this field nine has been hanging over me for ages need the potatoes for the cows for the cows for the pigs um, and now I can repurpose that field for something else. I think I'm going to put sunflowers in that one. I haven't done sunflowers yet, so I have a big old field of sunflowers. That'd be great. Um, I have also been going around with the Chrome Big X off screen. Uh, the silage clamp at the cow farm has now got about 250,000 litres in it, which I'm going to get ready to uh, of course, sort of level out a little bit, and then I will put blanket it. And I've started putting some in one of the silage clamps up at the biogas plant because I want to have a go at that. I haven't done that yet either, so I'm going to wait. I'm going to do some on an episode, but it's just one of those jobs that takes a long time, so uh, we won't worry about that just yet. Right, back at the store. Um, I've unhooked. Um, I'm assuming I just drive it. Um, engine on. I'm assuming I just drive it into like the cell point, I think. Let's unhook this. Expensive for what I had to do, but it'll come in handy for what I need. So let's put it on here. I assume this is what I do. We'll find out. Jump out. And let's go to here, shall we? Uh, return. Yes. The vehicle has been returned. Excellent. Right. No more fees. Brilliant. Okay. So that was leasing. Leased the vehicle. Got the potato field done. Harvested. Been waiting to do that for ages. Now I need to just get everything back over there and get it ploughed and get it reseeded and all the rest of the things like that. Uh, next job will be coming up. I'm just trying to think what I'm going to do next, but I'll think of something. Let's jump in here, turn the engine on, and we'll hook this back up and uh, shrink it back down to its normal size. There we go. And close it. There we go. Brilliant. Get this back over to the farm. That's a job well done. Happy with that? <laughs> Stop saying that. Right. I'm running errands all over the place at the moment. Just doing odds and ends. Cleaning up uh, the food troughs for the pigs and the sheep. Um grab myself a bell spike for the telehandler something 
I hope this is going to work. <laughs> Something different from FS15 to FS17. The bales on 15 on the console, I don't know about on PC, could only be spiked from the top up there. But I'm pretty sure on this version now, you can spike them anywhere. Which makes picking up more than one at a time a whole lot easier. Especially when you can load up one of these. So I also bought this for putting the bedding in. Now I know there's been plenty shown, plenty of YouTube clips and stuff. I get that. Um, I'm just kind of preparing for a few different jobs here and there. And let's see if we can get these in. Take care of that, which will be a bit of a coup if I do. Oh, come on, forward a little bit. Nope. Hang on. <laughs> that was nice, even if I do say so myself. Let's wind that back in. So I think I might stick another couple in it actually. So I think it doesn't matter how many you've got in it, it will only take what it needs. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud in all honesty. Um saves me to keep loading it up. Let's get this down again. I've noticed playing this version I whistle a lot more to myself and hum to myself and a bit of contentment, who knows? Right, lift those up. I do like this. It makes it so much better. Still loving the mana too. I think it's brilliant. So not quite sure how these will sit. I'm trying to get it so it's kind of offset a little bit. Let's angle that out. And see how we get on with this, shall we? Okay, that will do. Might give it a gentle nudge. There we go. That's actually gone in really well. Good, good. Let's stick this in here. Spikes down. Don't want anyone impaling themselves, do we? Picking off, engine off, and out we get. Okay, do. Let's see then. Hmm. So oh, the unload arrows come up. Ah. There we go, used a whole bale. Got a load on the floor. And that's not so bad. So let's have a quick look over here. Bit more in preparation for the cows coming. Uh, there we go, straw 4,000. Brilliant, straw on the ground. That's quite good, I like that. Okay, I'm going to take that up to the uh, pigs. And this will kind of bounce between the two now. Uh, whenever I need straw, I'll uh, move it around. And ready to blow straw, which I've got still got three bales inside it. Now all the straw I've brought up here, I said I was a bit concerned, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I've brought up the first conveyor belt, I'm going to bring up the second, I'm going to put it all into the trailer. 
because I brought it up here with the best intentions of using it for bedding. The problem is I can't get it from there into there because this point here you drop it off in it has to be out of the blower or out of a trailer so it's pointless having it here so i have another plan for that which will probably happen in the next episode but for today that's it we leased for the first time got the potato harvester the grim tektron 415 or 415 whatever you want to call it um did field nine that's cleared and all the potatoes are now there and despite what i said uh earlier in the episode because i got my numbers wrong i thought it'd be about sixty thousand. i meant one hundred twenty thousand, but actually it turned out to be just over a hundred thousand in the end which isn't too bad that's going to take god knows how long to get through that lot might be able to sell some or do some something else but anyway if you like the episode give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free if you want to share the video share it with whoever you want to I'm on Facebook too under Mr. Silly P. Screenshots and links to the YouTube clips go on there regularly. So from me at the end of another episode, I seem to end a lot of episodes up here at the pig farm. Don't know, obviously drawn to the pigs for some reason. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.